In this video, I'm going to be going over zuki or punch. The first thing that I'm going to go over is the proper way to make a fist. When you're making a fist, you do not want to tuck your thumb into your palms or have your thumb out on the side sticking out. You'll end up potentially injuring your thumb when you try to punch something. Also, if it's tucked into your palm, that doesn't give you the ability to make a strong fist and again, can also injure your thumb. So to start, you want to take your fingers and you want to curl them into your palm as tightly as you can. Then you're going to take your thumb and you're going to put it in front of your fingers. So think about trying to use your thumb to hold your fingers in place. When you are throwing a punch, you want to strike with the top two knuckles. There are a couple reasons behind this. One is that they're bigger and so they'll hit the target first. Also, they're stronger, which means they'll hurt a little bit more. And you have the support of your whole arm when you do this. So going to the side, when I extend out my arm and I use my top two knuckles to strike, I have all of the supporting musculature and bones to help. When I strike this way, I'm bending my wrist, which potentially can cause me to have an injury to my wrist. And it can also potentially cause me to strike something and get what we call a boxer's fracture, which is where you fracture the lower part of your hand. So make sure that you have your wrist. It almost feels like you're tilting it down. However, in reality, when we look at what it looks like, it's actually just straight. So that's how you want your wrist to look. The same thing when we rotate and we're punching sideways, and I'll actually pull my arm down so you can see the same view, because if I hold it up, it'll be a little bit more difficult. But again, when we have the two knuckles as the striking area, you can see the wrist is straight with the arm, and then it's straight all the way up to the shoulder. So, Zuki can be thrown with both your front hand and your back hand, and I will demonstrate both. We're gonna start by getting into that fighting stance. We want our hands where they need to be to help protect our body. I'll do the back hand first. So when I throw anything with the back side of my technique and it's a hand strike, or even most of the time when it's also a kick, I'm going to want to rotate my body to help generate force and speed. So as I go to throw this punch, I'm actually going to come up on the ball of my back foot and I'm gonna rotate and I'll rotate my hips and my shoulders to help with that spinning and force motion. Now showing you from the side, I'll come up on my toes and rotate. Now when I go to throw my punch, what I don't want to do is reach or lean. That's going to cause my body to be off balance and it will take away some of my speed and my power and then potentially leave me vulnerable when I am reaching and I have my face stuck out far. So we want to keep our shoulders over our waist in between our feet. As I go, I'm going to take my hand from the chamber position I'll rotate, extend my arm out, and then I'll retract and pull back. When striking with the backhand, you can target both the abdomen and diaphragm area and the face. You can also punch up. And I'll throw a couple at full speed. Now it's important when you throw a punch or any technique that you always retract it. That helps provide some of the snapping power that gives your techniques power. So going towards the front, Slowly, and then fast. And that is throwing Zuki with the back hand. Now, when we throw the front with the front hand, we're actually going to still have rotation, but it's a smaller rotation, and it's a rotation in the opposite direction. So with the back hand, I'm rotating this way. With my front hand, I'm actually going to rotate this way. So as my front hand goes out, I'm going to twist at the shoulder, and again, twist at the waist but I'm turning the opposite direction, and as you can see, it's a smaller turn. I will also take a step with this. The reason that I'm gonna do that is, generally speaking, I can't generate quite as much power with my front hand. So by taking a step, I am picking up some of my weight and then transferring it forwards, which is going to allow me to get my body weight behind the technique and make it a little bit stronger. So, demonstrating to the side first, slowly. And then a few quickly. The goal is to try and get your hand to reach the target before your front foot completely settles. That way the weight is transferring into your hand as it's transferring forward. So throwing a few forwards, slowly at first, and then quickly. 
And that is Zuki or Punch.